What beast looms in the far jungles of South America? One so deadly that simply having it come in contact with your skin would guarantee death. This killer is more lethal than a run-in with a lion because you can walk away from a lion attack. You could use wits or weapons to ward off a lion. But an encounter with this species in question leaves a 0% chance of survival. What is this ferocious beast? It must be double the size of a lion, even triple. It must have teeth sharper than any sharks and claws bigger than a bear's. It must be faster than a cheetah with the strength of a gorilla. Well, this ruthless animal is definitely more dangerous than all those animals combined. But you're wrong about everything else. At two inches tall, a single drop of this golden dart frog's venom can wipe out an entire city. Deep within the rainforest on the Pacific coast of Colombia lives this killer amphibian. Although they're rampant on their small plot of land, these venomous beasts are endangered. And although they are venomous, there are actually 100 different poison dart frog species. That's 100 different types of frogs that are there to bring you to your doom. It's not even just humans that are affected by this animal. The only known creature that's immune to the poison dart frog's venom is a particular type of snake, so almost no one is safe. If these little monsters have your skin crawling, give us a like and subscribe. Maybe we'll give you an antidote. So how poisonous can this little guy be anyway, right? Well, a single frog can hold up to 1,900 micrograms of venom. When the Choco Indians found this out, they touched the tips of their darts to a frog's back, and that poison would remain active on the dart for at least a whole year. So if any enemies came along, they'd know a single Aww. dart would get them instantly. And those teeny weeny cutie pies know they're deadly. If a predator comes along, they won't run or hide. They'll simply hop away. Because if anyone touches them, they're goners. Let's break this down. A single frog has enough poison to kill 20,000 mice, or 10 of your strongest, buffest human warriors. So what happens if this frog's poison does get in your bloodstream? Basically, your whole nervous system would shut down. Your heart would stop working completely. Within 10 minutes, it'd be lights out. And don't try for an antidote or a cure. There is none. So now you know it's probably not a great idea to cross one of these frogs. So how can you avoid them? Avoid their habitats in the Cauca Department of the Pacific Coast of Colombia. An organization called World Land Trust has built a habitat specifically to protect these frogs. You might think this is crazy, but they're endangered. And just because they're villainous and harsh murderers, doesn't mean they deserve to be extinct. As for looks, avoid frogs that are pale yellow, orange, or green. Through a process called aposomatic coloration, these frogs are able to change their colors depending on who's near. Other than their means of protecting themselves, these frogs are just like any other amphibian out there. Their diets consist of flies, beetles, ants, termites, and crickets. Hey, even humans eat crickets, right? Maybe we're not so different after all. Not only that, but they're also very threatened by pollution and are changing climates. Crop spraying around them actually destroys their habitat, and human infiltration like deforestation, gold mining, and agricultural development could wipe this species out entirely. We've got to protect our little friends. Like we learned from the Choco Indians, every species has a purpose, and every species counts. Like some of these killers. Ever heard of the King Cobra? One bite can actually kill 20 people, or even the gigantic elephant. Once you're bitten, you've just got a few hours to say your prayers. Or how about the pufferfish? Though the pufferfish contains tetrodotoxin, a poison that's 1,200 times more powerful than cyanide, some restaurants will sell the pufferfish as a delicacy. But they must be prepared by licensed chefs. Even then, it's still possible to ingest some poison. And leave it to Australia to have some of the worst of the killer animals like the box jellyfish. Since 1954, there have been 5,500 recorded deaths from the box jellyfish. A bit of venom from these guys will attack your heart, nervous system, and skin cells. That's a lot of harm for an animal made of jelly that just slinks around here and there. It makes you think, through evolution, what happened to these animals like the golden dart frog that they needed to become so dangerous just to survive? Apparently, it's just assimilating with poisonous plants. Some golden dart frogs grown in captivity don't even produce the poison. So I guess it's true what they say, you are what you eat.